Hey guys and gals, Chris from K-Station here with another quick uh, figure review. Uh, as you can see, it's clearly not going to be Star-Lord, he was the last one I reviewed, but he does have something to do with the new figure we'll be looking at today, which of course is... Woo! Rocket! Rocket Raccoon showed up! Oh, you can see my shadow, that's cool. Um, yeah, Rocket Raccoon finally showed up. I found someone selling him for um, quite a bit cheaper, so... I was able to pick him up. So as you know with my other reviews, I'll go over the packaging and then I'll uh, you know, show you the insides and then we'll go over the figure and then each of his accessories. You know, price point, is he worth it, is he not, that sort of thing. So uh, as you can see, definitely just kind of a uh, color swap from the Star-Lord uh, Star box set. And of course, this is the deluxe version of Rocket 2, which I will get into later, but if you are looking to get Rocket, you can see my hand moving for <laughs> over uh, to, to kind of go with the point, uh, get the deluxe version, because he, he comes with some 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 better options. Uh, but once again, just kind of taking a look at the packaging, as you can see with Rocket, they've gone for a pink, uh, yellow, orange look, as opposed to the blue, purple, red of Star-Lord. Both packages, of course, look great. Uh, you know, uh, it's made to look like a giant stereo cassette, like all in one. You, know, you got the speaker, you got the you know, all your knobs and stuff. Of course, all the knobs done with the metallic kind of paint, so uh, all of this kind of shines. You got a nice big portrait of Rocket. Uh, got the volume knob on the side. Uh, a nice Guardians of the Galaxy decal, and then of course the top. Uh, there's all your buttons. And then the back has a bunch of warnings and yada 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 yada. So, let's just pop this top off. So as you can see that uh, awesome mixtape that was in there is actually on a second piece of cardboard. Made to look like a circuit board. Very nice, it has everybody who's worked on the figure. Uh, it's actually kind of a neat little touch uh, because they put a lot of work into these and it clearly shows And of course we got Rocket himself I uh, got some guns an extra expression Baby Groot arrow rig hands and feet stand and then the giant Gatling gun. I believe I believe that's everything that comes with this figure. He is packed rather tight. So let's just pop that off Okay, yeah, no, no hidden back panels, so that is everything there. Uh, sure, it just looks like a shiny mess right now because it's all still in the packaging, so let's uh, take a quick break and get him out of that. And here is Rocket out of the box. Uh, as you can see, uh, pretty decent display of, uh, of accessories and everything here. So just starting off on the figure, uh, Rocket looks great. This is the default face he comes with. Uh, you know, if you get the... There you go. Looks pretty good. If you don't get the deluxe version, this, this is just the one you get. Uh, very great detail. His uh, whiskers are real. There is a very specific note in, in the instructions. Do not mess with the whiskers. Just, just kind of leave them as they are. Uh, they, they, they can break off and damage. Uh, very good job on the outfit. He's got his, he's got his backpack. Tail looks good. He's got his belt pouch. Um, feels like that fake kind of leather stuff, so feels great. Uh, the outfit's dead on. It also specifies that you cannot take off his outfit, so <laughs> do not take off his outfit. Uh, I'll just lay you down there for now, buddy. Uh, the next up, of course, like Star Lord, he comes with his own little baby Groot. If we could, there we go. Uh, very nice detail again. This is him in his Ravager costume that he's kind of forced to wear. Although he's looking pretty happy in this in this pose. Uh, and there is a little plug accessory that uh, goes on Rocket's shoulder if you want him to uh, ride on Rocket's shoulder. It's just a little, little plastic little plastic guy. Uh, and then Rocket, of course, comes with his arrow rig, which is in three parts. So, of course, you got the chest part. Very nice. Good detail. He puts it on differently than Star Lord, as you can see, is a bit more bendy. It's meant to go around and onto him. So you put that on. Uh, then you got this metal metal plate part. Uh, <laughs> I think I 
this is a bit more tricky. And then the actual uh, jetpack part, which as you can see has been integrated with, with the backpack he's normally wearing. And uh, the way you do this, of course, is uh, even the one he's got on right now here, it just pops off. It's got a couple plugs on the back. You lay everything over top and then close or shut. Um, so as much as I like his normal backpack there, and it's probably the only time he's going to be wearing it because I, I like uh, Rocket with the Arrow Rig. I want him to be flying in the pose. Uh, and then normally he comes with two blasters. Uh, they're the ones he grabs uh, during the Yondu scene. You know, come a little bit closer while he's just murdering everybody. So there's the first one. Uh, very <laughs> barrel's a bit longer, but very Han Solo looking. Uh, very nice detail. quite good and then the other one which is the, the, the tri blaster it's got you know, three barrels uh, once again the detail uh, with the paint job and everything uh, Hot Toys always knocks it out of the park no question and then before I get to the exclusive accessories uh, here's his base and I just wanted to mention it because I've never actually had a Hot Toys figure this uh, small uh, I'll, I'll give you a size comparison to Star Lord but uh, his Stand, it's it's a bit more weighted than others. Comes with this metal pole. This thing is metal. Just screws right in, and then you have a nice little clamp to hold on to rocket. Uh, and then of course it has a screw in the back too, so you can tighten that on. And I do appreciate the fact that the clamp here, you can tell, kind of maybe, <laughs> it's got padding on it, so you don't have to worry about that wrecking your figure. So you can adjust it. I try putting it as high as I wanted to because uh, of course I want Rocket to fly. Now the exclusive uh, ex blah, 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 exclusive accessories, sorry. Uh, first is another expression. This is him kind of grinning. Uh, I was going to tell you, I wasn't really sold in the photos that I saw because it looked kind of, I don't know, it looked kind of off, but you know, in person it does look a lot better. Uh, it's got the same great details on the whiskers as the other one. And of course you can see it just pops right on, pops right off. I do like him all angry and screaming because of course I want him with the, <laughs> with the nest, uh, next accessory, which is, uh, holy crap, this might be one of the most detailed things I've seen Hot Toys do. The, uh, the Gatling gun that Rocket uses, of course, at the beginning of Guardians of the Galaxy 2. This thing is, whew, boy. <laughs> As, as you can tell, this thing is, is pretty, like, I don't, I don't, like, just look at this detail. Look at that paintwork. This, this is a, this is a top quality accessory. Um, and of course, it's, it's exclusive to the deluxe version. So that's why I was saying, if you can get the deluxe version, get that. Because this, um, this is something else. This is really, really, really good. Uh, of course I'm going to be posing rocket with this. Are you kidding me? This thing is badass. Uh, and then of course uh, they're still in the packaging but rocket does come with uh, six other hands. Uh, you know obviously replacement hands depending on what weapon you want them to hold and actually two replacement feet. So that's uh, that, that's a nice little option there too. Let's see if I can get rocket there. Oh, okay. <laughs> you put his tail on the bottom and everything goes out. Now let me just grab my Star Lord here so you can kind of see for size comparison. I could have used a liquor bottle, but you know, I figured, you know, hot toys, hot toys. <laughs> Probably gonna have to adjust the camera too. Oop. Hope Star Lord can stand on his own. Oh, and he can, great. He can. So, as you can see, we're only really getting Star Lord's feet, so size wise, Rocket is, is definitely in proportion uh, to Star Lord. He's, he's a tiny little raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he does look really good. So I'll just get him posed here real quick and I'll give you my final thoughts as well as, uh, you know, how much is he worth and is, is he worth it. Oh, that took a bit longer than I thought it would, but I finally got him ready. Uh, yeah, this, this is kind of the display I want him to have. I want the, the Gatling gun and group cheering him on. Now his, now his pose makes a lot more sense than I put him on his shoulder. He looks really good. I might put another blaster in his other hand down the road, but for now I'm, I'm quite content. Um, be careful when you're putting him on his little display there. Make sure to, to grab him by the hips, <laughs> kind of, 
with the uh, uh, with the display because he will lean forward if you don't. So be careful with that. And if you are having issues getting the Gatling gun onto his arm, I basically pop the arm off and then I pop the hand off. I slid the arm through. It's got a very like, narrow opening there. As soon as I got the uh, arm through, put the hand back on and just kind of fitted it there. Uh, I kind of have it almost kind of resting against his side there because one thing I was worried about, oh, there you go, <laughs> is it becomes a little, a little side heavy. Uh, so, and there's one thing, you just, you just got to find your, your perfect spot and then eventually it'll stay. Uh, but yeah, uh, doing the one arm thing, uh, you're going to have to end up leaning the gun against him his own body just because uh, it's it's not a very heavy accessory but for his arms his arms are fairly tiny there you go but uh, there uh, yeah <laughs> there's there's the deluxe version of rocket now uh, I personally love the figure I'm a huge Guardians fan though so I mean that that, that kind of helps but I will say as, as far as the price point goes uh, he is fairly steep uh, for example, uh, I believe the deluxe version of Star Lord that I have, that was 252, 253 American. Uh, I'm from Canada, so do the math there. Uh, it doesn't work out well in our favor. And then the deluxe version of Rocket here is two, uh, 225, I believe. So you know he's, he's only 25 bucks American cheaper, and he's definitely lacking in a lot of. You know, you know, I mean, he looks great. I don't know. I was just expecting, for that kind of price point, you could have used a bit more accessories, maybe like the big energy ball that he has around him during the ego fight at the end. Spoilers. You probably should have seen it by now. <laughs> uh, you know, something like that. Uh, just, just more accessories to kind of balance out the price point. I mean, that being said, the Gatling gun, that is the nicest accessory I've ever seen Hot Toys do. So... I guess it's a bit of a trade-off, and then the normal rocket is, uh, and that's the one, of course, without the Gatling gun and the extra head. That one is 197, so it's almost 200 bucks American. So honestly, like like between the two, I'd say the the normal one is not worth it. If you're going to get Rocket, get the deluxe version. Uh, this this version is is a lot better for the extra 25 American or whatever you. You get a bit more options, and you get one of the nicest, nicest, wow, I'm dyslexic today. Uh, you get one of the nicest accessories Hot Toys has ever made, so uh, there you go. But uh, besides that, uh, thank you very much for watching. I do have Yondu pre-ordered, so as soon as he shows up, I'll do a review of him. If you had a good time, don't forget to you know subscribe, or like, or share, all that fun stuff. I know I'm just doing the statue reviews right now and figure reviews, but eventually I'll, I'll get around to doing everything. A new computer's expensive, so, especially when you keep getting hot toys, so we'll work on that. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Take care and stay classy, YouTube.